Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a very quick, short little Toys R Us haul. As you guys know, Toys R Us is going to be going out of business soon. I believe it's the end of June um, that their stores will be completely uh, liquidated. So with that being said, this might be my last Toys R Us haul. I'm not exactly sure. In fact, I went to two separate stores. This is going to be from one store, then this is going to be from the other one. And actually, fun fact, this one had almost no Lego, and this one barely had any uh, Lego Star Wars left. So I'm not sure if I'll be making another trip before they do close out. So first, guys, let's go ahead and start off with this one. Now, actually, in this store, there was almost no LEGO Star Wars sets left. Um, in fact, the only ones left were like the ATSD and the General Grievous Speeder. None of the sets that are actually even remotely good. Um, so I did pick up a whole bunch of battle packs. I got two of the First Order Specials battle packs for $10 each. I'm a huge fan of actually these executors. I really do like how they look. I think that LEGO did a really awesome job making them look like some sort of special operations. I think the ultimate goal when I decided to buy these battle packs was I definitely wanted two more of these um, Stormtroopers. And then I also do really like the helmet mold that the, uh, I guess the First Order crew guy is wearing. Um, so I'm definitely gonna pick up some more of these if I can find them at some Toys R Us's. But it's always good to have some more minifigures to add to your collection. I do wanna make some sort of my update for an army video. I know generally that people like to see some like massive armies. So hopefully this will be some pretty awesome additions to my army. And then getting on into the next one, guys. Guys, first things first, I did find uh, two of these DJ Poly bags. I'm not a huge fan of how the minifigure came out. I really don't care for his character in all honesty. Um, but whenever you find something like this, in my opinion, I always think that you should definitely pick some up. Especially because usually items like these are generally for promotions or GWPs. Um, so whenever you find these on the shelves, um, I definitely recommend you guys pick some up. These were about $3 to $4 each. So it ended up being quite a pretty good deal because usually you do have to purchase like $30 or $40. You have to meet a certain threshold to actually get these guys for free. But since I did just randomly find them on the shelves, I decided to go ahead and purchase them for $4 each. So these are awesome. You guys know that I generally like to collect poly bags. I'm trying to do my own collection. So definitely keep one for myself. Maybe do this for like a giveaway for a mock contest or something. Uh, let me know how you guys would like that. And then last but not least, guys, we do have something that isn't actually Lego. This is going to be my first ever Black Series set. Um, I'm actually really excited to start these. I have a lot of friends who have been recommending this who say that this is a really awesome um, collector's edition piece. I do collect the pop vinyl figures. I'm trying to collect as many of those as possible, but I do want to kind of venture on into the Black Series, especially this iconic scene of Vader entering that ship. It does retail for $49.99, but since it was 50% off, I did end up purchasing it for $25, and hopefully I can get maybe two or three of these Stormtroopers just to kind of make a really cool centerpiece for my room, and I'll definitely uh, do an unboxing and show you guys this in a separate video. So guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed just a quick little recap. We got my first ever Black Series. We did pick up two of the DJ Poly bags, and we did get three of the First Order Specials Battle Packs. This may or may not be my last Toys R Us haul, to be honest. I'm not even entirely sure. Hopefully, I'll be able to maybe pick up some more, uh, maybe even some more Black Series figures or something like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely go ahead and smash the like button for your boy. Like I said before, full review and unboxing of this guy coming out later. And hopefully, I can get a uh, really cool First Order Army video coming out sometime at the end of the summer. And guys, make sure you stay tuned for an upcoming mock contest I'm going to be starting um, for the summer. And I'm probably going to make this guy uh, the main prize. So that's all we got for today, guys. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Peace.